everyone, this is Robin and welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I have a new video for you today. I am spotlighting the perennial birthday, which I actually just spotlighted in one of my previous videos. I thought I would give you some more ideas with this wonderful stamp set. So on this, in this class, <laughs> delete. So for the card that I'm making today, it's very duplicatable, super easy, anyone can do it. You don't need a big shot uh, for this card. So we'll go ahead and jump right in and get started. We're going to be doing some stamping and making our own background, and that's one of my most favorite parts about stamping your own cards and scrap of pages and cards is that you can make your own background. That was one of the very first things that I got excited about when I learned about stamping. Okay, so I'm going to start here with this piece of Berry Burst cardstock. And this is cut at five and a half, um, five and a half by eight and a half inches. I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half. And we're going to stamp the background right on this right here. We're not even going to layer it up. We're going to pull out a Berry Burst ink pad. If you're new to Stampin' Up! product, one of my most favorite things is that we have coordinating colors, ink pads, as well as cardstock, as well as some embellishments that coordinate with the colors as well. So I love everything to be matchy-matchy, and they do the work for you, the guesswork for you. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and stamp this up, and then the background we're going to stamp is, now this is perennial birthday. I'm going to be using this for the background. So I'm just going to have fun with this. There's no special way to stamp this on. I'm going to have some of it go off. I'm going to stamp just the whole thing and I twist it and I turn it. I don't have all of the flowers going the same way. It's really hard to make a mistake on this. Just stamp as many or as few as you'd like. And you can do this for boxes, bags, tags, scrapbook pages, you name it. All right, I have my great, my great, my amazing background that I made myself in like two seconds flat. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of our watercolor paper because we're gonna be doing a little bit of watercoloring. And so I have this here, this is cut at two and three quarters by three and three quarters inches. And now I'm going to pull out my basic black ink pad. But before I start stamping, I need to clean off this stamp. And I'm going to use our Stampin' Scrub. This scrub is specially designed for quick and easy ink removal and stamp conditioning using our Stamping Mist. So I'm just gonna spray that on there. Just clean it off. And you can just rinse this off in your sink. You can add soap if you want, wash it off. I usually rinse it off about every two or three months. So it just depends on how often you're using it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take the basic black ink pad and I'm just going to stamp up the same one. I'm going to stamp just randomly around here. These don't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna stamp maybe three. like that. And now I'm going to take the little daisy. So that was this one. Now I'm using this little daisy and I'm going to just stamp it in here and kind of just do however you would like. And then now we're going to use this one right here and I'm going to just add some more background to this. Super cute, right? Yes, I know. Super cute. All right, let's go ahead and just set this aside. Now I have a scrap piece of the watercolor paper and I'm going to stamp this big one again, just in the middle, just right there. And then I'm also going to be using this one right here and I'm just going to stamp it. We're just gonna color these and cut them out. And then if you want to add one of these on here as well, just so it kind of all coordinates you can. There we go. 
You can add one more if you want. We're just going to be coloring these in in just a minute. Now I'm going to take Lemon Lime Twist ink pad and I'm going to squeeze it like I love it. I'm going to give it a big hug. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then when you open it up, you have some ink on the top palette. So if you're new and you've just maybe signed up for one of my classes and these are your, this is your first time using our ink pads, this is another use for them. It's wonderful. All right, so now I'm going to take this aqua painter and I'm just gonna, you can add water. There's already water in the barrel. You can make it more watery if you want. And I'm just going to just watercolor I want it a little bit darker. Start with light and you can always go darker. I'm gonna watercolor, you don't have to stay in. That's a great part about this. Just kind of swipe it on there. And then on this one as well, I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to just do all the leaves. I'm not even being perfect. I'm just doing that on there. Okay, you can go, I try to go out a little bit. I try not to be perfectly imperfect, if you know what I'm saying. And we're gonna cover this part up here so it's okay if these are a little bit inconsistent. All right. Okay, so now I have my leaves on here and they're just swiped. You can make them darker, like I said. So much fun. All right, the next color we're going to use is our Soft Sky. I'm just gonna give this a little bit of squeeze, a little bit of love. And I'm gonna drop maybe just one drop of water in here. And then I'm going to, this is just a lighter blue, just meant to be really a subtle color. That's why it's one of our subtles, right? Sub, subtles, subtles. Why is the bee silent? Things that make you go, hmm. All right. <laughs> Getting educated by Robin today. All right, okay. Now I'm also going to do these cute little daisies in the blue. Super easy to do. See how I'm just going all out of the lines and I'm loving it. It's not bothering me at all in my OCD-ness, I promise. All right, let's take our berry burst, give it a little squeeze, open it up. You can see the colors I use the most. Berry Burst Lemon Lime Twist get a lot of love from me. Oh, that's going to be really dark, Robin. Really, really dark. I don't really want it that dark. Okay, so I'm just going to add just a little bit of color in here. And then a little bit more color just kind of over in here. I'm going to kind of do those a little bit. Okay, just a little bit of background. So pretty. So pretty. I might do those too because I just want to. Do whatever you want, guys. This is your project. Oh, I forgot to do the blue over here. Okay. Oops. I'm gonna do that. Do a little bit of these. Well, those aren't gonna show up. I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay. All right. I need to get my blue back out. My blue, my blue, my blue. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. I'm trying to make this a quick video, you guys. This is my Third video in one week, I know. It's like my record for a while. I used to do maybe five videos a week for you guys. So if you're new to my channel, my goal is always three or four. I'm not sure I always get my goal done, but you know, we gotta have goals. All right, so that's all I'm going to do. I want to add a little bit more on here. I just wanna add a little texture on those. Okay, now we are going to take now, normally, ideally, we would let this dry for just a little bit until the water has been absorbed. You can also take our heat tool and you can help dry it as well, make the process go a little bit quicker. I'm going to take a pair of our paper snips. Is this distracting you having this background paper? Because it's just distracting me. All right, so for this one, I am just going to cut out this flower and leaf and leaves. That's it. And I, I kind of want the watercolor a little bit in it so I'm not really going right up to where the black line is. So, and this one I stayed in the lines pretty well. I shouldn't have, should have gone out more. Hopefully that's on the screen. 
Hopefully it's not too much in your face. Sometimes I do close-ups and they're a little too close. Too close for comfort. Okay, so I have this beautiful flower. Yes, I know. And then we're gonna do this one as well. This one I am only going to just cut out the rose. The beautiful little tiny rose. Little roselet, right? Okay, now these are, like I said at the very beginning, if you're new to stamping, this is something you can do. This is super easy, anyone can do it. There's nothing difficult about this part of it. Now I'm going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals and some of our Stampin' Dimensional Minis. They're called Mini Dimensionals. That's really easy to remember, right? Okay, those are all minis. Where are my regulars? Here's some regulars. So I'm going to take this here. I think I'm gonna wait and add that one on in a minute, but let's take the little one. And I'm just going to add this one over here, just a little bit of, just one little pink. I want it to be a little three-dimensional up there. You'll see why. It'll all come together in a few minutes. Now I'm gonna take my Stampin' Up! paper trimmer right here. And I want to use the Happy Birthday from the stamp set. That's right here, just the Happy Birthday. And this is, this is the easy way. I'm just going to measure some of our thick Whisper White. And this I'm just going to measure, this is one, two. It's about two inches by three quarters. So I'm going to do one inch by two and a quarter. I'm going to two, two and a quarter by one inch and that should fit that just fine. Set this aside. Now I can use my basic black ink pad. And if you wanted to just do the watercolor again, actually maybe we will, getting ahead of myself, maybe we'll do the watercolor, what do you think? I had some ideas. I'm gonna grab my watercolor paper, Let's, let me come right back. Okay, I went and grabbed a piece of our watercolor paper, and this is also one by two and a quarter. I'm just gonna ink up my happy birthday, stamp that on here. But what I wanted to do, I thought it'd be fun to just take my blue, my soft sky, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean off. Ooh, look at everybody, everything sticks to me today. I'm going to clean off this one, make sure it doesn't have any more black on it. All right, should be good. I'm gonna clean off the daisy and I'm just going to have the daisy kind of in the background. Isn't that pretty? Ta-da! Make these your own guys. So much fun. Now I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to use our fast fuse so it sticks a little bit better. If I can find my fast fuse, I have it somewhere around here. Maybe I don't hear this. Took it with me on a business trip and then I couldn't find it. Okay, I'm just gonna add some of our fast fuse on here. Add this directly onto the soft sky cardstock. The soft sky size, the soft sky cardstock is cut at three by four. And then we're going to go ahead and take this piece here and let me pop it up with some dimensionals. Where are my dimensionals? Let's do, I'm gonna do three for this one. And I need my dimensional still. One, two, three, uno, dos. Trace, okay. I'm gonna put this right here, up at the top, kind of hanging off just a little bit. And I'm going to take this one here, you know. You know this one over here that I did earlier and I'm gonna take a mini. I love the mini dimensionals because they're just perfect for just when you need a smaller space popped up. Just perfect for that. All right. Okay, and now I'm going to just pop this over here and have it kind of hanging off like that. So super cute, super easy, anyone can do it. And now let's go ahead and finish up this card. So when you add it onto the berry burst, it just makes it pop. But wait, there's more. We're going to go ahead and add this ribbon underneath it. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you a little trick. If you don't wanna worry about being all wiggly and tying it up here, 
we're just going to kind of figure out where this is going to be on top of it. And I'm just going to pull it. We don't want to waste this beautiful ribbon. It's just so gorgeous. I'm just going to grab my pink kitchen tape. Everything is attached to everything. Do you see how everything flies when I grab something? 20 things come with it. All right. And then I am going to put another piece of tape here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. I don't know what I did with my beautiful scissors. Here they are. Okay. Cut it like that. And then save that on the side. Let's go ahead and... Now we can use either the dimensionals or I'm going to show you our foam strips. If you haven't seen our foam strips yet, these are wonderful if you are making, if you're trying to um, pop up larger items or if you'd like to make maybe shaker cards, these are perfect for that. So what I do is just kind of, eh, kind of glance and measure. I just want three of them. Okay. So I cut three to my size that I want. And then I'm just going to, and they'll fall on the floor because it's one of those days where I have four things scheduled at the same time and, you know, things fly everywhere in my office. My kids get home from school early because <laughs> I hear the dog barking downstairs. So I'm just about done in my pink loft for the afternoon. So I'll hurry and finish this card up for you guys. Hopefully I hit record. I have made videos before or afterwards I realize I never press record. Those are my nightmare days. Okay, so I'm gonna have this kind of down here. So pretty, I know you guys are like, oh my goodness, Robin, that is so cool. I wish I could take credit for designing this card. This was one of the many ideas that Stampin' Up! gives us. They give us as demonstrators. So if you're thinking of joining my team and you're thinking, oh, I wanna do this, but I couldn't think of those ideas, well, you don't have to worry about that. Stampin' Up! gives us ideas if we want to use them for our classes or anything like that. So this is just a video showing you how to make a project. This is not for a class or anything, but they really take out the guesswork for you and help you along. Okay, so that's it. I'm just doing it like that. And you hear that wind? That's outside. That's my, I have a balcony outside of my pink loft and it's just blowing away. All right, you guys. There is a simple card for you. Again, anyone can make this. All of the items can be purchased directly from my shopping page, mypinkstamper.stampinup.net. If you're watching this on YouTube, all of the items are in the description below. If you're watching this on my blog, I blog daily. You can find me at mypinkstamper.com, but I also have a full supply list for you. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.